I want to tell you, Gorsuch. I want to tell you, Kavanaugh. You have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. So that was Senator Chuck Schumer back in 2020, sounding an awful lot like he's calling for consequences, perhaps even inciting violence against the printing, uh, sitting Supreme Court justices. Uh, suspect Nicholas Roski has been arrested, fast forward of course to today, and charged with the attempted murder or kidnapping of Supreme Court Justice Kavanaugh. This man was arrested less than a block from Kavanaugh's Maryland home in possession of a handgun, knife, zip ties, and burglary tools, among other things. Roski also made a deranged 911 call to police as a warning before he attempted to find the justice's home. The New York Post reports California man was incensed about the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion, and he was arrested near Justice Brett Kavanaugh's Maryland home Wednesday after he hatched a plan to kill the jurist to, quote, give his life purpose. Joining me now to discuss senior editor at The Federalist, David Arsani. David, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So this is officially someone arrested for attempted murder of a sitting Supreme Court justice. I don't, I don't know how much uh, digging around you did, David, into the uh, Democrat media, but this was covered, if at all, as like a page seven midway down the fold story in a way, it was pretty shocking. No mention of it at all last night on PBS Airwaves or on PBS's website. It may, may have updated it today, but this happened yesterday. Uh, it was a minor news item in either the New York Times or the Washington Post. I can't remember now which one it was. But if this had been, uh, let's say you had uh, Sotomayor under similar threat with a pending decision, does anyone think that the media wouldn't act like this was the great? And by the way, it is a, a grave threat to the uh, institutions of our government. But it feels like the partisanship is all that really matters to a lot of the folks in the media. Well, yeah, doesn't it get tiring to always say, imagine if it had been, you know, a, a liberal who this happened to, you know, or, or whatever, you'd have, you know, we'd have, be, we'd be in the midst of a national conversation about right-wing violence. Um, you know, it, it, it would be front page news. We'd still be talking, we'd be talking about it all the time on every single cable network. And these people just simply don't care because um, they are the people who incite and instigate this sort of thing. And it's not just, I'm not saying that Chuck Schumer in, you know, is, is, is responsible for the actions of a madman, but I will say that it's not, it's, it's the constantly calling people child murderers, fascists, insurrectionists. You're talking about people on the right and dehumanizing them. So if I thought those things were true that they said, I would pick up a gun too. I mean, we'd all want to pick up guns. It would be a rational thing to do, but it's of course an insidious lie. And yet they do it all the time. And it's, it's just this whole rhetoric that you see on MSNBC that now you hear senators. I mean, Chuck Schumer is a very powerful man. And the things he said in that clip, I mean, they're, they're specific threats to specific people. It's just insanity. 